Hey guys, this video today is about what you can be doing right now to get your garden started. One thing that we don't think about is things that we can be doing when we can't plant um, that can prepare us for the spring season. What do you think a box has to do with gardening? Well, two things you can use this box for. And I'm gonna show you how to make inexpensive mulch and brown for your compost bins. I am using a shredder. I'm not gonna show you the, the name of the shredder because the shredder is not important and I'm not getting paid. Um, <clears throat> this shredder is a non-cheap cross-cut shredder. I'm sure it, the brand doesn't matter, but that is a shredder that has the capacity of cutting up nine sheets stacked together. These, these Amazon boxes, as we all can recognize, um, they are thin enough to be shredded in this shredder. So the things that you're gonna need is, of course, Amazon box which I have tons of you can also use these Amazon boxes as a, a barrier a weed barrier so let's say and this is what I'd like to do with my garden I'd like to have less grass in my garden um, so you can put this down in an area um, that you're gonna put containers on and then cover the rest with mulch or um, cover what's remaining that shows with mulch or um, I'm gonna use gravel because I'm scared of the snakes. And um, it also can help you um, prepare the ground underneath. Like if you're about to till and sow up a till, till up a, a area, if you put this down to kill off the grass uh, a few months before, it can, it, the grass will break down and start stop growing and you can, you can till it into your garden do what you can But that's not how I'm using it. <coughs> I'm using this as mulch around my plants and I'm gonna use it in my compost bin because I don't have enough ground. And I'll do a video about composting. Composting is a, a combination of greens, which is uh, the stuff that your food scraps and then browns which are leaves cardboard things like that however this this stuff has to come off so that's that's a little aggravating because it takes just longer to break down so um, that's something that that needs to be done as a prep you just take it off as well also what you need is of course we talked about the shredder the cardboard box and I have a, a box cutter. Um, you can use scissors, but the reason why I have a box cutter is you want to cut cut it in strips to be able to um, put into the shredder easily. So, so I'm open that up. Be careful with these box cutters, y'all. And this is not the right way to do it, but I'm not going to scrape up my table. If I was outside, I'd do it. If I, were, if I were outside, I would just put it on the um, ground. So, I would not advise shredding double uh, of this. It could take a while, but maybe you do it while you're watching a movie or something. See, I'm taking this off. You don't have to take every single bit off because it still will break down. But, um... I want the least amount of ink and stuff in my compost and stuff. And, um, okay, so this is how you do it. It's real simple.
So what you come up with is this right here, which is a great mulch and it is good to go into your compost um, pile. Also, people who are doing um, raising worms, which is, I'm not doing that. <laughs> they use this, um, in, I forgot what it's called, but they use it for their worms. So again, the purpose of mulch, if you guys don't know, is it helps to keep your soil moist underneath. It helps keep the um, uh, it helps keep the plants from touching the dirt, which reduces disease that could be in the dirt. That when you water, sometimes it splashes up on the bottom leaves of the plants and it spreads so that it cuts down on the spread of disease but the, be the main thing for me is to keep your food clean um especially if you're growing something like strawberries things that typically touch the ground a good layer of mulch will help um with that and this will degrade right down into your ground so like let's say your first season you use this um and you can put this you can put this down first and then move, make a little hole and plant your thing down in there. Or you can just put this around your plants after they become, after they start growing. I would um, put them, put it down out, out the gate because just to make, just make a little hole so that the plant can grow up through it. Um, and then after your season is over, like um, in the fall, if you're not growing anything in a certain spot, you can turn this over into the dirt um, and it will compost over the winter. So this is Jen again with Urban and Garden Boots and I hope you join me in on this journey of uh, Urban Garden Revolution. Please like and subscribe and share with people who you think would be interested in this. I hear a lot of people say, I would love to have a garden, but I just don't have the space. Or I would love to have a garden, but uh, it's just too much work. It is work, but the reward is immense. So you guys have a great evening and I will grow with you later.